Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. We are. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Today we have a new review. A lot of people been asking, Penelope. They have, and so we will review Penelope at some point in time, but I have something else for us to review today. Copper Tom, the new orphan barrel. Hell yeah, dude, let's get into some dickle. You gotta pull the, the <sighs> here we go. Pull the intro. Why did you buy that? Found it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. So Sean told me on a live stream we will never review this bottle, and over my dead body will we not review it. So there's some for you, buddy, and there's some for me. How much? Just get right into it. How much was it? Mm. How much was it? Oh, I don't know if that was my hands or if oh, that was the whiskey. That's the whiskey. How much was it? This retails about $130. What'd you pay for it? 130 bucks. Okay. Yep. So Alec saw us talk about it and he goes, listen, buddy, if I can get you on a retail, what are your thoughts? I go, don't tell Sean or sure grab it. And then he found one it's a little above retail. Okay. But. What's a little above? 170 ish. Uh -huh. And then Sir Will, okay. our buddy, who was at Klein's that one night. Yep. Our Sir Will goes, I got you. I'm covering the difference. So thanks to those two, we're here today. So thank you guys. The newest, I listen, I know we've done a lot of rare whiskey reviews in a row, but this one is for fun. This is Copper Tongue Orphan Barrel 16 year old Tennessee whiskey. Hand bottle oh with God. pride in Tullahoma. Dickelson. As the Dickel Bloodhound, dude, it smells just like Dickel. You know, I really thought in my head to myself, if somebody can do Dickel well, it'll be Orphan Barrel. Nope, not just Blue Note. It'll be Orphan Barrel as well. Just Blue Note. It's so vitamin-y. It's sour peanuts. It is. It's like the Flintstones vitamins, but it's like grape flavored Flintstone yeah. vitamins. Yeah, that's true. Like. You still know it's gonna be shitty uh -huh. when you eat it. Let's get into it. All right. It smells just Thanks, like Dickel. Cheers, oh, no, dude. My foul. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell good, man. It smells like sour grapes, grapefruit, mm -hmm. mixed with the grape, mm -hmm. and peanuts. Not that bad. What was that right up front, though? <laughs> Not that bad. No, no, no. Something up front hurt. Me. It gets, it gets worse. It hurt me. It gets worse. Dan and Julie were right. The finish is really where it's at. It's like if you mixed Eagle Rare with and Dickle together. With, and then chalk. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, why does it taste... Why did it take that long to get disgusting? I don't know. At first I'm like, oh, a grape Eagle Rare, and now it's dust. Chalk. Actual dust in my mouth. I don't... Dude, the finish is horrendous. Jesus, dude. It, it's literally like... It if, finishes forever, though. If you took grape juice uh -huh. and just left it out on the porch and let it ferment with no cap oh yeah open oh yeah to the, elements. Are getting in there. Yeah, to the elements somebody's actually cutting cement in your yard <laughs> just they're not using water there's dust everywhere yeah it's settling in the grape juice and then someone was like let's bottle and drink it that finish goes forever and it just gets worse dude it doesn't build in a good way oh. dude <laughs> okay hold on okay. jesus now, entrapment wasn't good, but it was like 150. Yeah. Oh. But it wasn't offensive. It was just super chill. Dude, it's like boiled socks, like five seconds after <laughs> you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I get like perfumey peanuts now on the nose. It is chalky. Chalk is such a good word. Help me. So is this a buy? As Will and Grease would say from the podcast, is this a buy bar or a pass? Anyone that paid that much. There's something that happens right away that is heinously offensive to me. It's and like it, three quarters of the way through. No, the finish is really bad though. Why it gets, it's like it, my mouth is wet, but then I literally chewed a piece of sidewalk chalk. Oh no, my <laughs> Where will I ever get more? <laughs> Beautiful label, by the way. Great job on the uh -huh. label. Fantastic job. Yeah. 
on the label. Copper Tongue hails from the historic <laughs> Cascade Hollow Distillery in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Distillery is nestled in the valley with Spring Fed Creek in an area known for its population of copperhead snakes. Okay. Cool. Single story rig house. Um, that's about it. Copper Tongue surprising mellowness, uncommon of a cast strength, 16 year old whiskey. Oh, they didn't, this, they call this bourbon, by the way. Aromas of almond. Nuts. Hey, easy on the almond there, Chief. Toffee, liars now. <laughs> right? Give away and listen. Hey, and you know what, Diageo and Orphan Barrel, we absolutely love your rhetoric and lost profit series, okay? Yeah. And Barter Gifted House. Horse. Gifted Horse. Or well, Barter House. Say way less, dude. If you pour Barter House into my mouth for the rest of my life, I'd be a happy man. You'd be dead. The palate offers a surprising softness with a juicy burst of candied orange. Liar again. Hints of cedar. I'll go with some form of wood. Okay, yeah. That carry through to the long finish, which I agree with, actually. Oh, it's long it is and strong. A long, I don't get the orange, but I do get the grape. You know what? We it's in a table. It's like if you bought, you know those little vanilla cracker wafers with the uh, icing in the middle of them? No. They make like vanilla, strawberry, yeah. chocolate. Yeah. It's like the vanilla one just coated in chalk. But it's just made with drywall. Right, <laughs> exactly. The middle, keeping the cookie together, is drywall. Yeah. Yep, 100%. Slightly moist. Ugh. Maybe a slight <laughs> amount of mold. Well, you like ex ending expensive. You know what? No, no. Instead of buying copper tongue, uh, find your profit. Sounds like a lot you had there, Dan. All right, move around, Junkies. What's like, your grade, dude? Of, do, 130. Do retail. I need to give a grade. The low proof cast drink. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me throw it Wild out Turkey there. did a nice low proof cast drink. Which was the good. 17. Which Fantastic, good. actually. Um, I will put St. Cloud. <laughs> oh, wow. Peyton Manning whiskey. <laughs> Sweetness. Sweetens. Sweetens Co. Sweetens Co. And this. Sweetens Co was more expensive. 200 bucks. And this just, you know, zoom in. Like Peyton Manning's to the left, and then just right there is this. Best part of Sean Ed he just told himself to zoom in. True. All right. Well, what's your grade? Beautiful bottle. <laughs> D. Solely based on the label. So Sweetens Cove was nope. a, Sweetens Cove straight F. <laughs> Better label? Not as Sweetens Cove is absolutely heinous. This is a, it's not nope. good.